Now I hadn't planned on doing any speaking at any point in this video, but it's been a while since I've done a redline restoration, and I wanted to point out a few things. The first thing is the right hand side. I'm not sure if it shows up that well on camera, but there is a lot of chipping still present. A little bit on the fender, but a lot on the door. I tried to get as much of that off as I could with the electroplating, which it really did a great job on this side, on the roof, the trunk area, and the hood. Excellent, but this right hand side was just too far gone, and that's the best I could do with it. Now if you're not familiar with red lines, you may be asking yourself, why didn't I use some primer and filler? Well these are Spectraflame paints. All of that would bleed through. This is kind of a transparent paint. If I had used primer, it would have been more of a, like a yellow, not really a gold. It's kind of hard to explain. I, I showed an example in one of my other videos where I did prime it. It was supposed to be blue and it turned out green. Now the 68 Custom Mustang had a variety of different combinations. Some had painted grills. Some also had painted rear taillight sections. This one actually originally had the painted rear taillight section, but I prefer it without. And in my opinion, I just like the way it looks without that painted rear section. The Spectraflame paint as well as the reproduction wheels were all from the Redline shop. I will post a link in the description below. They've got a variety of different windshields, hoods, wheels, paints, everything you need. They're not a sponsor, but they are the number one source for these Redline restorations. And as the text suggests throughout the entire video, all the tools I use, there are links located in the description which is below the video. There's an Amazon link that links you to all those tools. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to post those. I enjoy reading them all and I try to respond to as many as I can. And as always, thanks for watching.